Have you ever crossed your mind what is inside the piano? Hello everybody! Today I am here at the D'Amato Fine Tunes, which is a, a piano showroom and a piano workshop. And today we are here with uh, Helio. Helio, tell us who you are. It's a pleasure having you at our workshop at D'Amato Fine Tunes. As my friend Leonardo told you, I am Andrew Pujeya, that I've been working here with D'Amato Fine Tunes. Uh, let me think. This is my 34th year working here. I started exactly on January 1984, long, long time ago. And since then, I never looked back. I always work only on piano restoration and what all it takes. And how, how was born in special? Um, um, first of all, I was a kid uh, learning the piano. Then uh, one day I changed the piano, I bought another piano, and from whom I bought the piano, they had a workshop, and they invited me um, uh, to start sort of helping them in their workshop. And, and, from, and from there, uh, I never looked back. <laughs> I remained uh, absolutely attached with them. And uh, this profession is my passion rather than my work. So, here we have uh, a person with uh, a huge experience and uh, he will help uh, me, so he will help us uh, to see a little bit more what is uh, inside the piano because uh, uh, many of us uh, just saw a piano from the outside many people don't even know that there is a person that uh, tunes the piano and how it tunes, can you show this? Uh, uh, this is um, looks very basic thing, but it is very very important when it comes to tune the piano. This is called a tuning hammer. And uh, is uh, the let's say the main tool, uh, tool that uh, you use. This is the main main tool. But uh, but you use it to um, tune up to the different uh, keys because uh, wait, the piano. Uh, wait, oh, see. <laughs> I see. Yeah. As you can see here. The piano is made up of around 200 strings, which all are adjusted according to each note. Each note either have one string, two strings, or three strings, and everyone has its own pitch. So with this piece of tool, you have to adjust them accordingly, so it would uh, sound beautiful. Uh, the sound would be organized and pleasant to the ears. Let's say this. Um, every time uh, um, you have a piano tuner at home, my suggestion is uh, to stay very close to, to this person, not uh, to disturb his work, but to learn. Because uh, as a musician, I believe that it is very important not only to know the technique, but also to know what uh, is going on. And uh, the modern piano is a very, very complicated breathing, uh, living uh, instrument. Why I say this? Because it's made of wood, it's made of metal, and uh, there are interactions between different materials, depending on the temperature, depending on the humidity. So, now, uh, let's say, I want to show them the different parts, and uh, um, we will start with this concept. What uh, everyone knows is that uh, um, here is isn't a keyboard, but uh, in the back uh, there is uh, one taken out from the piano that now I will show you. Um, what everyone sees is that a pianist touches a key. What is happening after? Uh, I met a lot of students that they were really surprised uh, when I explained to them that uh, uh, there is a hammer hitting the strings. I also remember many years ago I did my first lesson to a small kid that uh, at the end of her first lesson she asked me uh, where can I uh, turn it off? And I was uh, a little bit uh, uh, surprised because uh, uh, new generations 
are very used to uh, digital pianos, of course. So in my mind of this kid, uh, she wanted to turn it off. And uh, I opened the upright that was in that room and I explained the parts uh, in a very simple way that were creating the sounds. And she was uh, very happy to know this. So, uh, without further ado, now we go to have a, a little bit of insight about the main components uh, inside the piano. So, what happens when you hit a key? When you press a key on the piano, it causes a small hammer inside the piano to hit a string or strings. You have to imagine here that we have the strings that later I will show better. Each key is connected to its own hammer. When the hammer hits a string, it vibrates and makes a sound that is tuned to a specific note. The vibration of the string is then passed onto the soundboard located just under the strings, causing it to vibrate and resonate. The soundboard gives each piano its own technique sounds and also helps to amplify the sound or let's say make louder just to be uh, in, to describe it in a very simple way as you can see uh, already for the keyboard uh, there are many many components and uh, to be honest uh, i don't know which one of them i think uh, and you correct me if i'm wrong there are like more uh, over than 50 parts for each key for, uh, can you tell us uh, some technical names just to, <laughs> to have an idea? Basically, it's uh, divided in three uh, major parts, the piano action, the piano movement. First, you have the key part, the one that is uh, showing and a student or a player press. Uh, then you have the lever, which is exactly above the key, and then you have the hammer. So, we have the key, we have the lever and we, and we have the hammer. What happens when you press the key, the lever goes up and it lifts the hammer. So the hammer hits the string and the string starts to vibrate. As soon as or just before the hammer hits the string, there is another important part which is called the damper. In that very moment, before it hits the string, the damper goes off the string, so it would allow it to, vib to vibrate. As soon as you leave the, the key, the hammer drops and the damper drops as well, so it stops uh, the vibrations. I'm sure that uh, in the piano you noticed many effects, uh, one of the most common is uh, the sustain effect, where uh, the sound resonates. Uh, how uh, does uh, this work? I let Andrew to explain. First of all, the sustain pedal, which is on the right hand, right hand side, is called uh, the heart of the piano. Without it, it wouldn't be so beautiful, so nice, the piano. So basically, when you press the right pedal or the sustain pedal, there's a shaft that lifts up all the dampers all together. So all the strings are free to vibrate. So for example, if you press a, a chord in C major, uh, you would hear all the notes playing freely. As soon as you release the pedal, all the vibrations stops. Perfect. Now, I'm uh, really curious uh, to know a little bit more uh, which is inside uh, your doctor bag, because uh, when you go to a theater, to a concert hall, uh, to a house with a piano, you have a bag. And uh, basically, I don't know exactly what you have inside. Here I see a lot, a lot of toys. Do you want to tell us which are the most important and why they are so important in your daily activity as a piano technician? So, like any other trade, actually you need tools. Without tools, you can't do a good job. Um, for a better result, you need the best tools possible. 
when I go and visit um, halls or homes or whatever, there is a piano. Uh, normally, I take this case with me, which obviously um, I take what is required for any possible repair and uh, minor adjustment. But the most important thing on each piano is that the piano is tuned well. So we have the special tuning lever, which you can replace the, uh, the heads. So according to the size of the tuning pins, you change the tuning head. So that's why there is a thread there to change different heads for different tuning pins. This is a must you have a proper size to tune a piano. So you won't damage the tuning pins or you don't tune the piano very well. These are also very important, which are tuning wedges. This is to put between the strings to tune each string properly. Then you remove it and tune the other string with it in unison. Other important tools are this bottle is full of lubricant against humidity. Piano are very uh, prone to humidity and uh, we come across a lot of sticking case, so we apply this special stuff that drives out humidity and makes the, the hammer or the key works well again. We have very um, interesting tool here, which is a toner some of the notes might sound louder than the others and we tone that particular hammer so it would sound even balanced as the others other interesting uh, tools are these um, which are uh, set of adjustment that to regulate the touch of the piano so it won't be too loose or too, too hard um, uh, we have the tweezers here the tweezer is used for various jobs. This is, for example, when we change some uh, felt stuff and you might remove a hammer and you have to reach uh, the screws, which most likely are in a hidden section of the action. We have different uh, pliers here. These are used when we change strings, which is not very often, but sometimes we have to change strings. This is a very special tool to remove the center pins. When there's a, a pin which is loose on a hammer, we remove the old pin with this stuff and make a new pin. And other tools such as this to adjust the dampers and endless tools. <laughs> Uh, considering the piano is not a very big instrument, but it requires a lot and a lot of tools. These are the, the very basic, uh, which I can uh, explain in simple words. Boom! Mind-blowing! Amazing! This was a quick overview about uh, this instrument that uh, I really love. It's uh, with me, I can say, since all my life and uh, it will uh, stay with me. There is uh, a lot to learn, but I hope uh, you got some uh, interest that uh, now you want to discover more. If you liked uh, this video, hit the like button and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you to the next episode.